Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, first of all, I'd like to say sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. I have been so, so busy with like work and driving and I've literally not had like a leg to stand on. I've had so much to do. Probably a list as long as my arm um, of things to do that I still need to do. But, I have something very exciting to share with you today. Uh, so this Wednesday I took my practical driving test and I passed. I mean, I still can't quite believe it because I was so close to failing as well. And this was my third test, technically my fourth test. Um, and yeah, I just, it's kind of weird because it doesn't feel real, um, but at the same time I can, I can go out and drive. Um, with this certificate which is pretty cool I thought I'd kind of talk you through my driving experience because it's been a long a long time I'd say it's been about three years um, which is pretty long for driving I guess some people take maybe a year some people take maybe like six months or even a month now it's like 17 I applied for my provisional um, this just means you can drive um, with an adult who's over 21 and who's been driving for three years so I could drive then. I got my provisional um, and then I did about 10 hours of driving in a Mini Cooper. This was down near my dad's. It went really well but then I started a job uh, and, and basically college in London so I couldn't actually go down there every weekend to do driving lessons because it cost too much and going down there every weekend was a bit of a hassle um, just for a driving lesson. So what I ended up doing is I ended up starting to learn to drive in London which is pretty crazy. Um, it's really good because obviously you get so many different types of scenarios and yeah I started doing that. I did that for about two months. I booked my test. Um, my test was going to be in the November. I was so ready. I felt like I was going to pass first time. I drove down to the test centre. Um, I was all ready to go and my test was cancelled. Um, it was cancelled because there was a strike that day and what they do is they don't actually tell you if your test has been cancelled you have to go down to the test centre which is really unfortunate because the test centre I did my test at was probably about an hour away um, because the centre of London is quite hard to do your test so I went to South London and yeah I was really really gutted because obviously I'd worked so hard I'd done long hours of driving like two and a half hour lessons um, I've done all my manoeuvres I was mentally ready and then it got cancelled so that really knocked my confidence um, so that was that's what happened and then I did some more lessons I rebooked another test and this time the test was in February. Um, this time I felt like I was prepared, but not as prepared as I was in the November. Um, and yeah, I was pretty nervous because it was the first like actual test that I've gone through. So I got five majors um, and multiple minors. Um, so I came home and that test sucked. I mean, it wasn't a hard test. The maneuver I did was, I think it was parallel park or like three point turn, turn in the road, so that was pretty easy, I feel comfortable doing those manoeuvres. Um, so yeah, I again did some more driving lessons, rebooked my test, this time my test was in March, oh, no, it was in April, yeah, so this time my test was in, at the end of April and this test I really needed to pass because my theory test ran out nine days after this test, which is crazy I know but I was thinking okay well if I pass this test I don't have to redo my theory um so yeah I went to the te same test center again and I felt a lot more confident I felt a lot more comfortable in the car but uh, my driving instructor had just changed his car so this time the car was a little different um a little a little harder to drive I didn't like it I preferred the other car that he had and I think that just threw me off because I failed the test again. This time I only got one major, which I could have um, easily not got if I concentrated. Um, but yeah, that it is what it is. And then lots of time passed. I decided to get a new instructor just because I wanted a bit of change. And sometimes when you get a new driving instructor, it actually makes a big difference. Um, so I worked for a while. I didn't have driving lessons for about 
maybe six months and then I started driving again with a new driving instructor. Um, the car that I drove was a lot smaller so I felt a lot more comfortable in it and I really thrived in my lessons. This time I started my driving lessons in January and I took my theory test in March, like the, just the end of March, it was like the 29th of March. So I had about maybe like two and a half months of lessons. Um, I started off with like hour lessons and then I went on to two hours and then two hours and a half. So in the two hours and a half we used to drive down to where my tests would be, we'd go through test routes and that really helped me because I kind of became familiar with the area I would be doing my test in and also like different scenarios like roundabouts which I hate, I hate roundabouts. Um, so it was good just to go around all the roundabouts in the area so that when it came to the test I was familiar with them and yeah I mean I had my test on Wednesday it went really well I could have failed like really really could have failed so yeah I mean now I can drive which is pretty cool it is a tough road to go down you have to spend a lot of money um, unless obviously you get a driving lesson from your parents that's pretty cool um, but I highly recommend doing your driving like as soon as you can and basically you just have to keep on top of it like do lessons every week make sure that you make those lessons on time make sure you use the time in your lessons efficiently listen to your instructor because obviously they know what they're doing and enjoy yourself relax that was my main problem I was kind of like quite tense sometimes um, I got stressed quite easily but now I'm, I feel so much more relaxed when I drive um, I think the two hour and a half lessons really helped and yeah, I think that's all for this video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.